Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Walmart haul for you and I found almost all of these pieces in store. As we get into these pieces, if you are looking for any information on them, including the sizing in which I show them or any affiliate links so that you can go directly to shop these pieces, make sure you look in the description box. Just click more, it all should drop down for you. And if you'd like, you can also follow me on the Like to Know It app where I post a lot of pictures and videos that makes even easier shopping. Getting right into this scoop midi dress. I have it in a size medium, 8 to 10. I found it in store. It does come in other color options. However, this crazy thing just blew me out of the water when I saw it. I first I walked right by it and thought, nope, not for me. However, when I really got to look at the shape of it and just the uniqueness of the design, I thought that could be extremely flattering and very unexpected. So I decided to go for it because it was also like 98% cotton with just a touch of spandex. Now that is important because this Brandon Maxwell, can you please put a zipper in something? <laughs> this thing actually has to slide over your head. Now, it wasn't a problem for me. It gives you plenty of room here to put it over your head. And this is actually a stretch band elastic waist. So pulls on easily, goes on well, but I just like to warn everybody because if you're gonna do your hair and makeup before you put this dress on, fair warning, you will have to get it over your head. But other than that, it was so cute. I love it. As you can see, it just fits really, really well. And I think it's just going to be a really fun, unexpected piece for the summer. Next up, we have this. I don't even know what to call it. I feel like it's a 50 style housewife dress with the brightness of the 60s. And they kind of smash that up and I fell in love, I'm not gonna lie. I think this dress is so fun, so flattering, and again, so unexpected, out of my comfort zone. But when I put it on, just like the striped one, it just is comfortable and fun. And this one is actually free assembly. I have it on in a size medium, and it's 100% cotton. Now the difference with this one is the buttons do open up all the way down and it actually has this really beautiful tie waist that you can put on, but it is removable. So if you'd like to break up the pattern, feel free to take this off and swap it out for one of your other belts, maybe a white leather or a neutral tone, something fun. Uh, you could easily do that, but this dress is structured so well. The cotton is like a, a little bit of a soft after poplin cotton, so it's gonna be great for summer. Next up is this a time and true 100% cotton t-shirt dress. I love these dresses. I actually had a black one from Amazon for several years, and I had tried these from Walmart in the past, and they just didn't seem to be cut right. I did prefer my Amazon one in the past. However, things have changed on Amazon like they always do, and I feel like Walmart has really just tried their hardest to uh, improve on this dress, and I absolutely love it. It is 100% cotton, but it's a very thin knit, uh, not see-through though. They just did really great, I think, with the little tiers that are on it. It does have pockets, and I love that even though it's more of a t-shirt, it has a tiny scoop neck. So again, I, I don't like things to come way up high on me. I like to have a little bit of room, especially when it's hot, and I love the little cut on these puff cap sleeves. I think they're very flattering, and they give you lots of breathing room for a hot day. Love that this can be paired with tennis shoes and a cute little bag maybe a jean jacket, but also with flip-flops or even just thrown on over your swimsuit. Just makes the absolute perfect little piece to have through the spring, summer, and even into fall, depending on what accessories you add to it. Comes in so many different color options. You can find it online and in store, and I want to say it's under $15. Yep, $14.98. Now, the only thing I will say to this is I usually size down with uh, this Time and True brand, but I actually got the medium in this one, which is an 8 to 10. And as you can see how it fits, I actually prefer it. I think I like the 8 to 10 in this. So on this one, I would just say maybe go with your true size if you want just a nice roomy t-shirt fit dress. 
This yellow dress is one of two fails that I have in this haul. Uh, this dress is actually, I believe, a 100% cotton as well, free assembly. Got it in what used to be, or what I thought was my true size medium, but as you can see, this dress is huge. It is so oversized that as I put it on, my husband even just immediately said, that is not flattering on you. That's really making your shape change a lot. And I 100% agree with him. I think if I were to try this again, I would definitely size down. So I have this on in a size medium, but I would at the very minimum go down one size to a small to try to get it to fit a little bit more flattering. Other than that, it really has potential, and I kind of feel like it has like free people vibes. <laughs> um, it does have full pockets. It's that kind of gauzy cotton. It's very uh, thin and nice, but not see-through. And I did appreciate the fun strappy details in the back because it has that little tie uh, thing that you can actually tighten it up a little bit on the top, and these straps are also adjustable. However, I adjusted them as much as I possibly could, and that really didn't change the oversized fit on the rest of the dress. Next up is this swimsuit kind of cover-up, or you could actually wear this type of poncho with maybe a, like a tank top and jeans. I could even throw it on right now, actually, if I really wanted to. Um, it is a true open poncho style. So I am going to kind of model it again here. Um, it opens on the sides. So it's just one of those big almost blanket style with a slit in the middle that just goes up to your neck. I actually love these. And um, some of these can be interesting uh, in texture. And even though I believe this is a, a synthetic material, I don't think it's cotton. This one feels very soft, very lightweight, doesn't feel like it's gonna get weird on me if I wore it over a wet swimsuit because I feel like some of those pieces really kind of stick to you and they're just not comfortable. This one I love because it's gonna add a little bit of warmth if I need it, if I'm in a breezy place. Um, I think it would be really cute as well over maybe some like skinny jeans and a tank top. This is a polyester acrylic blend, one size fits all or most, it just says one size, and then $19.97 full price. Unfortunately, my next fail is actually a swimsuit. I thought this could be perfect. This is that Love in Sports brand, and it's just a fun, sporty brand at Walmart. I've featured some of their things in the past. They have a lot of um, athletic wear and athleisure wear, but they actually came out with some swimsuits this year. So I grabbed this one thinking it would have a little more stretch and room here in the bottom than some of the last ones I featured, and it does. However, um, the bigger problem is this. I actually showed this in a large, which is a 12 to 14, and I knew I was taking a chance. It's really too big for me in this general area. And as I show in the picture, the back here, I know it's so hard to see with, with it being all black, but the back drops low. And because it's so large on the top half, this kind of sticks out on me in the back, as I'm showing in the video here. And because it's not adjustable here, oddly enough, even with my short torso, this swimsuit, I'm gonna back up, is actually way too short. So not only is it wide here, but the straps are kind of sliding off and this whole area is pulling upwards because it's just not cut long enough. So for those of you who have a normal or long torso, I think this would definitely be a pass on you. This would be super low cut and I think everything else up here would be riding up. Before I get into the jeans that I just featured that are new, I wanted to make a quick mention of this top. It's a Sophia Vergara top and it may look familiar to you if you saw my past video. I will link it above for you. I I had purchased this top in a medium and I liked it, but it was too loose. So I returned it and I ordered it in a size small, which I'm wearing now. And I do love the fit on this. So if you were kind of hanging out waiting to see what I did with that last haul, I did return several items and exchange them for different sizes. And this one was one of them. One of my really sweet uh, viewers, subscribers, did leave a comment for me saying that she had actually previously purchased this top and she washed it and I believe she dried it 
and it shrunk so much that it was unusable and she was going to have to get rid of it after one wear. So I just wanted to be clear as possible and spread that information that I think this is going to be one of those wash in cold water and hang dry types of tops. And I know not everyone is into that. These pair of jeans I actually placed in order for when I was exchanging the other flare leg jeans in the lighter wash for a longer length. Oh my gosh, you guys, those jeans are so, so good. I already wore them last weekend. I was getting compliments left and right from Perfect Strangers on those flare jeans because they have a retro feel and because of the length on them, they just make your legs look like they're a mile long. And so I thought, all right, if these are that good, I'm gonna try them in a darker wash with a button fly because I feel like that is also a retro look as well. So these are the Sofia Vergara Melissa flares and they do have a true flare leg as you can see I uh, they are so so good these ones I feel like have a tiny bit more stretch than the others um, and so I may have them taken in just a little bit on the back side uh, they don't pop out too much or anything I can totally wear them but because of the amount of stretch in them I'm just a little bit worried since I'm in between sizes so I do know though that if I just get these taken in just a tad they will just be perfection and stay exactly where I want them even though this stretch will happen on the rest of the pants turquoise hanger award time and dun dun dun, dun. Believe me, I'm just as shocked as you. I really, truly did not think this was going to fly, but there's something about the fabric and the cut of this dress that just, I feel like it does everything I want a dress to do. It kind of widens my shoulders out. It pinches in at the waist. It flares out. It's a perfect length, has pockets, perfect weight. I mean, really, I don't know what else to say. And I am going to look online because like I said, I bought this in store, but I'm going to look online and see if this comes in other color options as well, because it is really that good. And the reason why it beat out the striped dress is because the striped dress is so good too. But this one, because of the buttons and the uh, flexibility with the belt being able to take it off, I just feel like this one, the how well it's made and how well it's structured just really does it for me. Um, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what do you think should have won the Turquoise Award or did I get it right? All right, that does it for me for this haul. Make sure you hit like and subscribe before you go. And if you have any other stores that you'd like to see a haul from, let me know as well. I'm always up to try something new as far as trying on clothes and looking at new shops. All right, thanks again for your time. I appreciate it all. And until next time, I'll see you soon.